around <laughs> understand the fact that this black female is their enemy. This black female is an, she's an asset of the state. She works and she's controlled by the state. She works directly against black men. She's been doing that for the last at least the last sixty years. Some people even say that she, this goes back. I mean, this really goes back to slavery and beyond. Because look at the times of slavery, where basically black men organized revolts, and who yeah. basically who blew the whistle I was these black you, witches, man. It was. It was. Um, I had old relatives in the south told me, plenty times like, um, hey, gee, there were mass slave rebellions. I mean, we had like you, dude. If if a black woman would have kept her mouth shut. Back then, you would not be having World War One or World War Two. You would not be right. having a Vietnam War. Okay, and all these other wars that we're going through right now. Now we'd be much more a prosperous, industrious society now than ever before. If we would have just neutralized what we was going through at that time frame, and fast forward today's times, there will not be no Jim Crow. There will never be no sexual apartheid over here in the Americas, especially in the states, let alone in in in, in, in certain parts of South Africa. So this bitch influenced the behaviors of the world. That's why I keep telling fellas, like, yo, the world looks at us as a cultural open window. He's serious, you know? Yeah. When you said that, you're, he's very serious, everyone in chat. Like, you don't know how much of a joke we are to other cultures. 